we've seen that there are two possible definitions for the dot product of two vectors. The first definition is in terms of components. So if v and w are two vectors with the following components, then the dot product v dot w is obtained by multiplying corresponding components and adding them up. The second definition is given in terms of the length of the two vectors and the angle between them. The dot product v dot w is equal to the length of v times the length of w times cosine of the angle between them. In this video, I'll use the law of cosines to show that these two definitions always give the same answer. I've written down the two definitions of dot product for reference. I'm going to assume the component definition of dot product and prove that the other formula for dot product will hold. This will show that the two definitions are equivalent because whatever a number I get as my answer for the component definition, I'll get the same answer for the other definition. Although I'm working here with two-dimensional vectors, vectors with two components, the argument actually still holds for vectors in three dimensions or n dimensions. We'll need to use a few properties of dot products that follow readily from the component definition. We'll need to use the fact that dot product is commutative. So for any vectors a dot b is equal to b dot a. We'll need to use the fact that dot product is distributive over addition. And we'll need to use the fact that when you take the dot product of a vector with itself, that's just the norm of the vector squared. These three properties follow immediately from the component definition of dot product just by writing out all the vectors in terms of their components. Now we'll get started on the main part of the proof. Let me draw any two vectors, v and w, and I'm going to connect the terminal point of v to the terminal point of w with a new vector I'll call it u. Notice that v plus u is equal to w, and so we can write u as w minus v. Now, by the law of cosines, we know that the length of u squared is equal to the length of v squared plus the length of w squared minus 2 times the length of v times the length of w times cosine of theta, where theta is the angle of the triangle opposite vector u. So that's the angle here between v and w. If I rewrite u as w minus v, I get this equation. Now I'm going to use the fact that the dot product of a vector with itself is the norm of the vector squared to rewrite the norm of this vector as the dot product of the vector with itself. Continuing, I can write the norm of v squared as v dot v and the norm of w squared as w dot w. Now I can use the distributive property on this collection of vectors to get w dot w minus w dot v minus v dot w plus v dot v. The right side I'll leave the same. Now if I cancel out like terms on the left side and the right side and rewrite this uh, negative w dot v minus v dot w, that's the same thing as minus 2 v dot w using the fact that dot product is commutative. Um, so now I have this equation and dividing both sides by negative 2, I have exactly the relationship that I was looking for. So the law of cosines gets us from the component definition of dot product to the length and angle definition of dot product. And that's all for the proof that these definitions are equivalent.